somewhere out here there should be the, the leg bone of a carnivorous dinosaur about as big as a fence post. There should be a skull about the size of an engine block. About 15 years ago there was a National Science Week lecture that Dr Tom Rich gave. Somewhere he mentioned that he took volunteers. I said, pick me, pick me, pick me. And they did. In the summer of 1989, I saw an ad in the newspaper saying volunteers wanted at Dinosaur Cove. And I went over there and they gave me a helmet and a set of steel cap boots and said to get in this tunnel and start digging. And uh, been digging pretty much ever since. I took to it later in life. I'm going to turn 80 this year. <laughs> I have a, a mammal named after me. I'm the species, the Mary Walter's Eye. I've also found one of the weird multi-tuberculates, which is the strangest looking mammals you could imagine. I found a mammal jaw about six or seven years ago. My little 16 mil mammal jaw is uh, now on display in the Melbourne Museum, so my little claim to fame. It's not actually a dinosaur, Coolasuchus. It's a giant amphibian and it laid in wait around the edge of the water for small plant-eating dinosaurs to have bitten them in half and swallowed the pieces whole. Because I was the discoverer, it was actually named after me, Coolasuchus Clinglandi. My main role is prospecting. I was actually responsible for finding uh, this site. I found the first bone here in 2003. Oh, it's been like pulling the handle on the poker machine. You always think you're going to win another one. You could find a bone today that could be a new species and whenever you find a bone you're the first person ever to see it which is quite exciting. So there are 700 volunteers who've been involved in this dig since it started at Dinosaur Cove back in the 80s. So a lot of them are science students, a lot of them are geology students, occasionally we get paleontologists and paleontology students but most of them are just people like me who uh, found a way to contribute to the knowledge of the world without getting one of those fancy degrees and who come back year after year for the treasure hunt, for the jigsaw puzzle, for the friends and colleagues we find here and for contributing to, to what the world knows.